We told you yesterday about the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's sixth report on global warming. The report states that as global temperatures rise, the chance to secure a livable future for everyone on Earth is slipping away. Joining us this afternoon is Dr. Ben Kurtman with the University of Miami Rosenstiel School, a contributing author to the previous IPCC assessment. Dr. Kurtman, thank you so much for joining us. Sure, my pleasure. Thank you for having me here today. So first off, let's talk about the overarching message delivered in this sixth IPCC report and also what's new compared to the previous versions. Well, I think the, the report is really making a, a stark uh, contrast to the previous report in that uh, what's really uh, required in order to stabilize the climate at 1.5 degrees uh, warming into the future, and that's in Celsius, so another three degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, they're really, really emphasizing the urgency of acting now to reduce carbon emissions and other greenhouse gases so that we can uh, stabilize the climate. And it's at the moment looking like there's a better than 50% chance that we'll exceed that that three degree threshold before the middle of the century. Now in central Texas, one of our biggest concerns is hotter temperatures leading to more evaporation of our surface water supply and also rain becoming less reliable in the future. What is the report saying about our future here in Texas? Well, I think I think the way to think about uh, if you're worried about water resources, you've uh, suffered drought, that that drought is going to get it's going to get worse. Uh, there's going to be less rainfall, uh, potential for more evaporation in a warmer climate. And so we're looking at, you know, places that are dry and tend to have dry climates are going to get drier. And those places that tend to be a little bit warmer, uh, a little bit wetter are going to get wetter. And that's going to get more extreme as we go into the future. Well, now it's easy to hear news like this becoming so dire these days and get discouraged about the prospect of being able to reverse course. But there are some viable paths that are laid out in this report. What is the most viable path for reducing global emissions and getting things back on track? Sure, there are a lot of things we can do. So uh, stop opening uh, coal-fired fuel plants, shift, shifting to alternative fuels. Locally, as individuals, we can start thinking about uh, making sure we have more green spaces, planting more trees, shifting to electric automobiles, insisting on alternative fuels that, that are, are, are uh, renewables. Now, all of those kinds of things that we can do, I'm actually quite optimistic that if we, we do everything, we could reach our goal of uh, stabilizing the climate at three degrees warming uh, before the mid-century. And Dr. Kurtman, as a climate researcher, this has been your life's academic work. If there were one message you'd like people to know, what is that? The one message is, yeah, the situation is serious. It's, it is dire and we need to act now. But if we do act now, we can reverse the trends that we're seeing. Dr. Kurtman with the University of Miami, thank you again for your time. My pleasure.